Merry Christmas from Fire Station 33 in Seattle. This week I am going to be showing the process of painting one of my little watercolors, Jenny from Jenny's Chateau Farm, another YouTube channel, sent me an email a few weeks ago requesting a, um, actually I guess commissioning a um, painting of her chateau to give to her husband for Christmas. So I filmed myself painting it and um, then she is sending or has sent um, video of her opening the package as she gets it and some footage of her farm or her chateau. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and uh, I hope you are having a lovely holiday. Okay, I've got the line drawing done and now I'm going to erase all of the uh, pencil marks and uh, I have my picture up, my actual photograph that I've been using to work with. So now comes sort of the fun part, which is the actual adding of color and paint. First, this step. So, a little kit is very tiny. <laughs> this big. <laughs> it's really hard to open. So, there we go. My 12 colors. And um, my little tiny paintbrush in here. So, um, I use a lot of the white. I'm a little nervous I'm going to run out of the white, but that's quite a white house and it's got quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of white there going on so I'm just gonna see what happens I'm just gonna start obviously I've got some color on the white cube there but I'm just gonna try and get the color of the house down the preliminary go in later and add sort of in the shadows and whatnot.
Jenny. I'm an Austrian American, born in London, married to a Swede, and just to make the geographics a little bit more complicated, I now live in southwest France, in Charente, about three hours north of Abbey. I realized recently that I was going to have a bit of a problem this year buying a Christmas present for my husband because it sounds like a bit of a cliche, but he is the kind of man that already has pretty much everything he needs. So I was having trouble finding something locally. And although he is driving back from work in London, I couldn't really ask him to bring anything with him because then it wouldn't be much of a surprise. So I gently inquired with him about what might be on his wish list but I don't think he was taking it very seriously because on his list was a front-loading tractor of a very popular American brand, some random esoteric boat parts, I don't even know what they were, and Lego. So for various reasons, I won't be buying him any of those for Christmas. A few days later, I was watching Abby's channel, which I love, and an idea came to me. It seems to me that apart from being an accomplished author, Abby is also a very talented painter with a very personal style. And since I also have a modest YouTube channel, I have quite a lot of drone footage of this house. So I reached out to her to inquire about the possibility of her painting a picture of this house from some of the footage that I sent her. And thankfully, she said yes. So it has just arrived a couple of days ago and my husband still has no idea about it. So let me show it to you now. I think he's really going to love it and hopefully it will go some way towards making up for the rather difficult week that he's had since he arrived here. Firstly, by hand we spent about four days filling in a 120 meter long trench with about 120 hedge plants in the rain and then since when he arrived, he had the audacity to make a comment to the effect that the kitchen was not quite as his he would have wanted it to be and some of his items had been misplaced. To which I responded that I had volunteered him to be the village Santa. Unfortunately, however, I think he rather enjoyed that position. So after all that, I think this will be the perfect Christmas present for him. So thank you so much, Abby, for all your hard work in creating it. I really think you've captured so many of my favorite aspects of this house. So thank you again, and I'm wishing you a very Merry Christmas. Or maybe I won't, because it's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we're wishing you all a happy Christmas. That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> okay, bye. Do you have a mic on? <laughs> uh,